All right, today, guys, we're going to be watching the new gameplay trailer for The Day Before, which is a zombie survival MMO. It's from a small studio who have not made a bunch of really good games, so we should definitely take this with a grain of salt. What I personally use trailers for nowadays, now that I understand that all they are is PR and marketing, is just as like a concept of the game. What do we, what do the devs think it's going to look like? And if I'm interested in the concept, maybe the actual game when it's finished will interest me but i'm not using it for like oh this is the hype and this is what the game's actually going to be like that's silly we we should have learned by now so let's watch this trailer Hi everyone my name is diana and i am cbo at mytona we are publishers of the day before a brand new mmo survival game developed by extremely talented guys from fantastic Hey, I am Ed Gatovtsev, here from the coldest city in the world. Hi, I am Asen Gatovtsev. We are founders of Fantastic, developers of The Day Before. The that day good before boy is looks real happy. The we've ever made at Fantastic and the real breakthrough for MMO survival genre. We're so grateful for your interest in The Day Before. Hope you will That's like so our That's so cute, video. man. I will just say that the, already in this game, like from both the trailers that I've seen, the audio seems quite good. Like the audio design seems pretty damn good. But just graphically, the game looks really, really nice. Obviously, with how many downgrades we see over the years from trailer to actually get in the game, will it look like this? Who the fuck knows? I've seen so many people saying that this game looks so, so much like The Division, and 100% you're right. But the problem is, guys, when you're talking about, like, I don't want to miss anything, when you're talking about developing a game that's realistic graphics that are based in a metropolitan city, how are you going to make it not look like The Division? Because it's a AAA budget game with good graphics that's based in a city. Like, cities just look similar like you're not going to be able to produce a unique looking uh d downtown western U united states city are you it just looks like how real life looks <laughs> nobody plays games this way I, I wish developers would just show you what the uh the actual gameplay is going to look like and not somebody who'd never played a video game before. The shooting doesn't look very good. In a shooting game, that's kind of a problem. It could obviously be because this guy is terrible, but just in general, you know, like, spread on a gun. I hate when it's like... Okay. Yeah, I hate when spread is like... It just makes your crosshair bigger. And then bullets just randomly go within that area. I prefer to have like spray patterns like Counter-Strike has. Or just make the crosshair not reactive. This reactive crosshair kind of just looks not too good for me personally. Okay, so that's what we got from the from the trailer not really much of anything to be honest it is mad scripted obviously nobody plays video games that way you're not like walking around uh, with your gun holstered waiting for gunfire to happen like you you're probably just running around the world playing in how people usually play even the more tactical versions of games like this you know like daisy uh, where sounds everything in that and cover and things of that nature you mostly are still running around at a decent pace. You're not like slow walking through the fucking city. It just isn't how it works. Also with that gameplay, it's the middle of the day and people shooting guns, where the fuck are the zombies? It. I don't want the Division 2.5 or, you know, regression in the Division. If they're going to do something that looks very similar to, to that game, but has zombies as like a extra factor. I prefer zombies in games anyway. I'm, I'm a fan of that genre have zombies in the game like don't be showing us 
just people versus people and, and no zombies anywhere. It's just kind of, especially in a city like that, they'd be fucking everywhere. We've all seen The Walking Dead. Uh, they did post some information online. Uh, there's an interview with IGN that came out with this. The game's going to have a base building mechanic within it. And they don't want it to be like normal survival games where, and I don't think that would fit anyway in this game, where you, you're picking up resources, you know, hitting rocks and building a fucking stone or wooden base or something. That obviously is not going to fit in this style of game. So what they've said is it's going to be similar to, or at least taken inspiration from Animal Crossing, which is, I've not played Animal Crossing, but I get the concept generally. I just don't understand how this game would have Animal Crossing mechanics. Um, there has been a zombie survival game recently. The, I can't remember what it's called, Dead Matter, something like that, where they've tried to do a system where you can go inside a building and claim that building as yours and then like board up the windows and put your stuff in there, which if they can do that with this game and have it be on an actual MMO scale with a large city and, and thousands of people within the city on one shard, where everybody can just like claim a building and people could like break in and take your stuff. Uh, that would be fucking fantastic as an experience. But what I'm most likely expecting is just certain houses within the game will have uh, in a way that you can enter and it's instanced and multiple people can take over the house. Something like GTA Online, if they even get to that stage. And then obviously they're also talking about in there, the game's going to have hub areas where you can go in and interact with other people accept quests trade etc so that is literally like the division so what i'm expecting is it'll be an mmo in terms of sharding the world off so the hub will be where you see lots of people and then maybe you'll go into another hub and there'll be you know there can be 64 people in this area um and have it servered like that it would make sense. We've seen games do that like Atlas before, which is an MMO and Last Oasis, where it's just multiple small instances stitched together and you can go between them so you can technically interact with a bunch of people. I don't think it's going to be on the level of like a big open world with just thousands of people running around, you know, interacting with each other whenever they want. It will probably rely on heavy instancing. So that's my take on it anyway. Hopefully... It's just the best game it can be. I'm not really too fussed if it's either way, although one, one would be much cooler than the other in concept. So yeah, take the trailer with a pinch of salt. Obviously, nobody's saying pre-order this game. Nobody's saying hype this game up. The concept of it looks cool. I'm into it, and, and that's all we've got. So thank you very much for watching, as always. There's some links in the video description if you want to help me out. My Patreon, where you can throw me a couple dollars every month for the content. Uh, a NordVPN link where you can click it. I'm affiliated. You get 70% off. I get a kickback of whatever you spend. Win-win. Discord link. Everyone's active in there playing games together. We do giveaways and things. It's it's pretty nice. And on Twitch, I will be streaming most days, whatever game we're, we're up to at the time. So thank you very much for watching as always. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace.